Welcome back. Today's lesson is about comparatives. I've written that on the board here. Comparatives are when you have two things and you're comparing each one. You're comparing one to the other thing. For example, A is bigger than B. So you put the ER on the end when you have a one syllable word. Let me give you some examples here. Uh, Gary is taller than his brother. Gary is taller than his brother. Taller, T-A-L-L-E-R. So you put the E-R on the end there, that tells you that he's taller than his brother. I don't know why, maybe he drinks more milk. <laughs> the second example, Nancy is smarter than her sister. Nancy is, I think I'm going to put this in red, smarter, smarter than her sister. Now I want you to look here. In both of these examples, I have the word then on the end, then his sister. When you have <clears throat> A and you're comparing it to B, in this case Gary and his brother, you must put the word N between the two. The word that you use to compare the two has the ER on the end of it, taller than his brother. Nancy is smarter than her sister. A lot of people forget to put that word then in there, but it's really, really important and you have to remember to put it in. Okay? Now what happens if a word ends in a Y? Well, we have lots of those words in English. If a word ends in a Y, like uh, healthy, you would say something like, um, my lunch is healthier, A-L-T-H, <clears throat> now the Y on the end changes to an I-E-R, so make sure you change that Y to an I. Healthier than yours. <clears throat> My lunch is healthier than your lunch. My lunch is healthier than yours. Another example would be um, her hair, her hair is curlier, C-U-R-L. The Y changes to an I, and then you put the ER on the end, so make sure you change that Y to an I. Curlier than her sisters. So she's the one in the family with the curly hair, than her sisters, okay? So this is what you do when you have a, an adjective that ends in a Y, you change it to an I-E-R. Other than that, one-syllable adjectives take an E-R. Taller, smarter, I'm sure you can think of many more just like that. Now, other two-syllable words, because I started here, healthy is actually a two-syllable word. Let's look at some other two-syllable words. For example, uh, if I say um, um, more thankful, okay, he, um, he is more thankful. So what I do when I have two-syllable words is I'm going to put the word more in front of it. More thankful. You cannot say thankfuler. It's just not said in English. More thankful than I expected. Than I expected. He is more thankful than I expected. More. Why? Because thankful is a two-syllable word and you have to put more in front of two-syllable words. Another example would be, uh, I feel more helpless. I feel more helpless, M-O-R-E, helpless, L-E-S-S, -S. more helpless. So I put a more in front of this, helpless is two syllables, than I did yesterday, I did yesterday, E-A-Y. Now there are some irregular uh, adjectives, and the irregular adjectives are uh, good, and good becomes better, B-E-T-T-E-R, okay? Good becomes better, and then um, uh, bad becomes worse, W-R-R-S-E, and then the word far, which is about distance, becomes farther, F-A-R-T-H-E-R, -E so there's that extra T-H in this word. These words you just have to learn, good, better, bad, worse, far, farther. Okay, what happens to other adjectives that are longer? Well, we already looked at these that are longer. They're more than one syllable. They have two syllables, and you put more in front. 
However, there are exceptions to that, and the exceptions are words like, um, let me see, clever, if I say dogs are cleverer than cats. Dogs are cleverer than cats. I can actually do this two different ways. I can say cleverer, or I can say more clever, C-L-E-V-E-R. So there's a whole list of these words where you have two syllables and you can do it either way. Personally, when I say cleverer, it's kind of hard to say because you have the er and the er together. So personally, I prefer more clever. Dogs are more clever than cats. Okay, if you have a longer adjective than that, like uh, intelligent, you can say, um, he is, let's do this in red, more intelligent, intelligent than me. He is more intelligent than me. You can say me, some people say I than I, but I find I is too, in, too formal. I like me much better. He is more intelligent than me. Intelligent has four syllables, so anything longer than three syllables must take a more in front of it. Okay, that's today's lesson. Bye for now.